What is going on, people? Day number 17 of the 31 Days Half October series on this YouTube channel is here. It's pretty much halfway done, more than halfway done through the month. So if you missed any of the reviews that I've done so far, go ahead and check them out after this video. Pretty much what this is, you're going to get 31 horror movie reviews in 31 days. I'm not the only one who's doing this, so definitely check out everybody else's. If there's a movie that you don't enjoy or didn't, you know, didn't want to check out, check out everybody else's. I have everybody's link in the description. Check out those channels. There's a, probably a whole bunch more. They're doing a whole bunch. I'm do, calling this the 31 Days Half October. You got 13th Wolfman doing the 31 Days of Halloween. A uh, whole bunch of people doing 31 Days of Horror. There's a whole bunch of people doing this. This is pretty much the month of horror movies, and so many people are talking about them. So go check out everybody else's channel as well. Me, I'm doing a little bit different. I'm doing more maybe lesser known titles, and I'm doing them out of alphabetical order. This one, I don't want to say it's an indie film. I don't want to say it's a lower budget film. I don't. It might be lesser known. Maybe not many people know about it. I mean, when I saw it, it was definitely... After Jaws, which I'll get into. Anyway, the movie I'm reviewing, like I said, I try to go in alphabetical order. I didn't have anything for N, but today I have Orca. This is one that I recently picked up a few months ago. It is pretty, the, the DVD is out of print, so that's why I picked it up. Anyway, this movie, it was directed by Michael Anderson. Uh, it's written by Luciano Vincenzioni. Hopefully I said that right. And Sergio uh, Donati. Uh, it stars Richard Harris, Charlotte Ramping, Will Sampson, among many others. So pretty much this doesn't get as much limelight because it has the, I don't want to say the, the Jaws style to it, but it's a killer, killer whale. And, you know, it came out came out in 1977, so it was around the time of Jaws, and this one kind of gets flack because, it, again, it's a, you know, giant killing machine, and it came around, like I said, instead of a shark, you got a killer whale. Pretty much what this is, is a group of, um, a group of, I guess they're fishermen of some sort, they end up catching a killer whale, a pregnant killer whale, which happens to be this main orca's, um, you know, mate. And they end up catching her, cutting her open, finding out that it had a, a you know, a baby. They killed the mother, killed the baby. So now it's pretty much this orca, this father, uh, now, you know, using, I, I don't know if orcas have, like, sense of anything, but... You could tell it remembered the guy's face and pretty much followed him from the ocean to this small town. So now this orca is now pretty much on a rampage, killing whatever and whoever gets in his way pretty much to get to that ship. Uh, I guess he was the captain trying to get to the captain of that ship and, you know, go and attack him. There's not really, you know, you have to watch it to understand more. You know, there's a little bit of everything going on. It's more of a, it's more of a, um, it has like a love story blossoming and stuff like that. So you get a couple different storylines going on through the movie, but pretty much it's about revenge. This killer whale is now after anybody who killed its mate. So like I said, it is... Lesser known, I remember seeing it when I was really, really young, uh, and not many people talk about it because, again, it gets overshadowed by Jaws and its sequels and stuff like that. I want to say it, I don't want to say it rivals it because it's a different kind of movie, but, you know, it's up there for another sea creature type killer type deal, as opposed to, you know, the mythical creatures and all this stuff. You actually get a real life animal that is now, you know, you've heard of killer whales going after people at, like, SeaWorld and stuff like that. Well, this one actually goes and tries to kill people because of an, an incident. So I'd say if you have not checked this one out, look for it. Again, this one was out of print, so it cost me a little bit more uh, than, you know, I usually pay for certain movies. But since it was going out of print and since I liked it and since I wanted it, I ended up getting it. So I'll leave the link to where you can purchase it if there is still any on Amazon and stuff like that. But I say if you can find a way to 
watch it, definitely go ahead and check it out. Again, I don't hear many people talking about this as much as I do like Jaws and stuff. So definitely give it a chance. Uh, go ahead, check it out. And like I said, it is like in the same vein as a Jaws and stuff. So if you're into Jaws, you'll definitely be into this movie. Again, I'll leave every review I try to do, I'll leave the link to the trailer as well as a link to, like I said, to purchase it somewhere. So it might be, like I said, a little expensive on Amazon or eBay because again, this is a um, out of print DVD. So I'll leave the link for it, but also in the description, check out, like I said, all the other people who are doing some kind of 31 days because it is a month of horror so if you've seen some of the movies that i've reviewed go check out the 13th wolfman or um moods or um super retro throwback uh so many different channels doing it so check them out because they might be saying other movies as well so uh definitely check this stuff out Again, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, if you know what I do, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. I do more reviews and stuff. So check that out. Hit the like button. You don't have to do it yet because you'll be getting a review for me for the rest of the month. But hit that little bell button just so you know when I do upload more stuff to YouTube. Because it's probably the best way to get notified that I do do stuff like this. So check the description, like I said, for everything I talk about, as well as all my other social media. I got a Facebook fan page. I got a Twitter. I got an Instagram where I show off all the movies behind me. Horror Mino. I'm part of the dorkening. We just had on uh, the direct uh, one of the actors from uh, Camp Death 3 in 2D. If you're into horror comedy movies that are ridiculous and out there, you'll definitely be into that one. But yeah, hopefully you're enjoying this stuff. Like I said, October is a month of horror. So check out everybody's channels for more and exciting horror movies. So check out Orca. Check out all my other videos for this month. And I guess until tomorrow, I'll see you guys.